We got all sorts of stuff happening in the NBA. Hey, did you watch the big three last night? A little bit. I watched mainly the award show, which yeah. I loved. I enjoyed it. Kuda, I got to give the NBA props because I thought it was t the timing was bad since it was so far after the regular season. But I thought they did a really good job. I thought Drake was hilarious. I do think Larry Nance Jr. should have won the best dunk. Oh, my word. So, yeah. uh, and Avery Bradley is a fantastic defender. But didn't Devin Booker put 70 on him? 70? Oh, didn't, yeah. he, didn't he give him 70? <laughs> that was the Celtics, so... Maybe he, uh, yeah, put that, put Avery on there. By the way, the big three, it's going to work. It's, it, it, uh, we projected a number four to got four and a half times the number. It, really? They, I, I tell you, I thought the TV production was really good. I thought Gus Johnson was a riot, and it was aging stars. Wait till Paul Pierce gets in that league and lights it up. I mean, they're, they're doing it now with a lot of guys. This is the first day of business. You go next year into this thing, maybe yeah. live. I think it's actually going to be a really fun league. I sat there, and I thought, from a television product, it was it really, yeah, I mean, it just jumps off the television screen. I'm like, it's interesting. I sat there and watched that for 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, this is going to work. It's kind of interesting. Wow. Um, okay. Hey, there's so, nothing else to watch at this point other than baseball. That, that's, so why that's, we, that's, that's why great. we went into business with uh, yeah. Ice Cube. So here's Gordon Hayward. Like, a lot of dominoes going to fall here, Chris. If Gordon Hayward goes to Boston, there is a sense that Danny will go, okay, now I'll give up draft picks for Paul George. That's being reported. Do you believe that? Uh, I, I don't think it's a definite thing. I don't think it's like Dan, It's like Danny's like, if I get him, I think he's willing to consider it more so. Um, and I, ultimately, at the end of the day, would he do it? His logic must be, if we get Gordon Hayward and Paul George, we think we can beat Cleveland. Because if we get to the finals, that'll keep Paul there. You'd never roll the dice on Paul George unless you thought that. Yeah, that's the, that's the one trump card. Can he leave a finals team and go to the Lakers who will be in the lottery? I'm gonna That's throw, what Cleveland's thinking. I'm going to throw this at you. Julius Randle was 13-9 and nine in the tougher West, and Jordan Clarkson was 15 a game at 45% in the tougher West, and two first-round picks. Did Kevin Pritchard pass on a pretty decent offer? Not in my opinion. I mean, I hear you, but... I, if I'm building a young a new team, I don't want pretty good young players. I, I need somebody who can be a star. I'm I'm I differ from most people in the NBA that I've talked to about this. Nobody wants Kevin Love, and I'm like, if I was Indiana, I'd take Kevin Love. I think he would be tremendous in Phoenix. He would give you 23 points, 12 rebounds a night. You need a veteran with Devin Booker and Marcus Chris, Marquis Chris and these other young players who can win, who knows how to win, who's a champion, and he could be the face of your franchise at least until Booker takes over. But I, I'm not that high on Randall and Clarks. I like what they are. They're, they're good role players. All right. But I don't want a team full of that. The, um, it is funny. Christine and I have gone back and forth on this, is that, okay, I'm, I am for mostly patience. And I do think when you have organizations like the St. Louis Cardinals – or the Boston Celtics, or Michigan football, that you're not desperate for a title like Cleveland was, and that you have higher sport self-esteem. And Danny's like, listen, we got, we got a bunch of titles yeah. here. I'm not blowing stuff up to rush into a trade. But then comes something else. If your 401k is now $4 million, and you can take out a hundred grand for a business venture you feel good about, then you take away from your 401k. At some point, this massive accumulation of draft picks is just, right now, it's just paper. Yeah. It's like, if you can give me Porzingis, who, if Paul George goes to the West, is the third best player in the conference, and I'm giving up 18-year-old players, I my takeaway is Porzingis is worth three draft picks. I would have done it for Porzingis. No question. Because, one... You've got him under contract longer than Paul George. You probably can convince him to stay. He likes the East Coast. He likes New York City. Yeah. Uh, he's younger. He's tremendous. He he's probably better than almost everybody in this draft. No, I was, we just I, had. I was told Maybe two nights Ball ago. Be I was told two nights ago by an NBA scout that Porzingis would no question what we know, but now be the number one pick in the draft. Yep. I heard number one this year and next year. <laughs> he he would be. You know, that's how good he is. 
He's he is, and that's why Phil Jackson has to get it straight. He could be Dirk Nowitzki or better. He could be. I mean, he's more athletic. He can shoot it. He can go off the dribble. He he should be able to guard relatively well. Could guard better than Dirk. I mean, I I would have done that if I was Boston. Because you're right. What did they get for? Uh, they traded. It was a good trade, obviously, to get down to three and get another draft pick. But you're still just accumulating more and more draft picks. And 90% of these picks don't pan out. By the way, what are the Celtics today? An aging Al Horford that they got trapped signing because they couldn't get KD. Your best draft pick is Avery Bradley, a nice player. A nice player, played 50 games, and a 5'8 point guard. So this is right now in Jay Crowder, who has a good contract but is not a great player. So four years into the rebuild, you say what you want. The Lakers appear to have a potential star in Lonzo. And Brandon Ingram. And that sells. That's more. That that for a 10-year window, yep. this morning, if Gordon Hayward doesn't go to Boston, he doesn't. And Paul George then would not go. I would take Lonzo Brandon Ingram for the next 10 years over a collection of Isaiah Thomas is older than people think. Al Horford is old. Crowder's older than people think. So I'm saying, what does Danny have now to show for it if Gordon doesn't sign? Danny is a very good GM, but you're right. If they don't get Gordon Hayward. What are they? Yeah, they're, they're, they benefit from playing in the East, just like everybody else, just like Cleveland does. If they were in the West, they might be Portland. I mean. They don't have a player. Portland's got two players. Better than theirs. Yeah. Arguably. And, and Jurkic is pretty good, too. Um. Very exciting. Uh, I compared earlier, and it was not negative. It may be viewed that way, is that gum sales have dropped dramatically. And they dropped dramatically since the iPhone. Because gum is not something you put in your cart. It's an impulse buy because you're bored and staring at the cashier. And since the invention of the iPhone, we now at the cashier on that three-minute wait, go to our iPhones, don't see the gum, and don't buy it. This is fact. Gum sales have dropped since the invention of the iPhone. And that the iPhone is more important than gum. It was never an impulse buy. You buy it because of information and a way to communicate and elevate your life and your business and your information. Is that Russell Westbrook is largely gum. The NBA writers had no stories. They had no great stories. It was a lack of parody. He became an impulse story, and he was fun and exciting. But once the playoffs came around, KD revolutionizes the league. He ain't gum. He doesn't lose flavor after a couple of hours. So you think that's outrageous, don't you? Yes, I I love Russell Westbrook. And I think with his speech last night, he gained some more fans. Did you see his speech? It was very emotional. Very good. Christine right? showed me his speech. You can't help but part of, love even just him. part of it. It was so good. It was a great speech. Um he gave the credit to so many other people. Here's the thing, Colin. Because I know you've said he's a sympathy vote, and I'm a voter, and and sympathy had absolutely nothing to do nothing. with why I voted for. No, I mean what he did average a triple double. He did do something that Magic Johnson, LeBron James, Jason Kidd, Clyde Drexler, none of these other all time great versatile players did. He did something we haven't seen what in I don't know what is that fifty two fifty one years or whatever it was. You know, I mean. I- this, ever, it was incredible what he did. You ever watch Wild World of Sports as a kid? Loved it. So did I. Remember the guy that could spin, spin like nine plates? Yes. That was never the most valuable guy on ABC Wild World of Sports, but I'd never seen anything like it. <laughs> Please. Are you kind of going crazy on the I'd never seen anything like it vote? We never thought another player would average a triple-double. Are we sure? Yes, I'm sure. We thought if it was somebody, it certainly wouldn't be a 6'3 point guard. And they were 33-9 and nine when he averaged a triple-double, which is a 64-win pace. Okay, the, They about, needed those triple-doubles. How about this being more outrageous? Take Westbrook off. Kawhi got nine first-place votes. LeBron got one. Kawhi has a massive hole in this game. He doesn't elevate others and doesn't pass. That's He's why, beginning to, though. Watch oh. next year. It, it depends on if they don't get Chris Paul. Because you notice in the playoffs, you saw Kawhi handling the ball a lot more, being a playmaker. You know, a lot of it was because Tony Parker went down. Look at the assist number. Now, assists are not a small thing. It defined Magic Johnson. It's why Wayne Gretzky has more assists than any other hockey player has points. The difference between good to great businessman is the 
ability to see things before they totally materialize. Kawhi Leonard doesn't see the floor like LeBron. It's a huge hole in his game. LeBron is clearly the best player in the world. Okay. Yeah. But that doesn't, he was not the MVP of the regular season. The Cavs showed you how seriously they took the regular season. When they went 12 and 1 in the playoffs in the East, and they had gone 26 and 24 since January. So you can talk about how LeBron elevates his teammates and makes them all better, which he does. But in the regular season, how much did he do it if they only won 51 games? They won 51 games. Westbrook won 47 with. His brothers that were on the stage with him last night. I'm going to be kind. <laughs> I mean, sir, you know, how, the, the maybe, Cavs, maybe coast, have, you can't get the MVP award if you coast during the regular season. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll agree to disagree. 